Sasha, it's great to see you again here at Super Return International. 5,000 people from the industry here this time. Incredible. It's a huge gathering. What does that mean to you when you come and meet with this crowd? Well, I've been doing this for a, for a long time. Um, so I do think that this year there's definitely an overwhelming number of people. So you actually can't walk two feet without being stopped and said hello to, which is the nice thing. Um, but I think it's really great to see that the industry, no matter how we've had some you know, issues in the last six to eight months, it's still booming. Um, and everyone here is very positive sentiment. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm feeling very enthusiastic about this year's conference. You talk there about bumping into people. Everyone knows you. You like to say that you're very differentiated from other exec searches. So tell me how Jensen Partners does that. Yeah, surely. So Jensen Partners as an executive search firm differentiates in a number of different ways. Firstly, we are the largest global executive search firm solely dedicated to distribution, capital formation, executive search. Secondly, we have created a model of um, technology, so data-driven, data science-driven model of recruitment. And what that basically means is that we built out a technology that visualizes the organogram mapping of every distribution, capital formation platform. So if you think about you know, any of the large firms that are here, like every single firm practically that is here, we have them mapped out in our technological database. And the, the important thing about that is that we're, we're, we really are able to understand you know, the whole landscape of every single GP. Um, and that helps us advise our GPs from a business market intelligence perspective. How crucial to you has it been to evolve in, into that? Because you obviously have embraced data and, and the use of tech in that sense. How difficult a journey has that been and, and why did you see that as key? So it's interesting, many years ago, um, you would have found me on the streets of New York lugging a very enormous uh, suitcase, which I would then you know, bring up into a boardroom and lay out these big tombstones. And every single one of these, these tombstone books has, you know, for example, private equity, infrastructure, real assets, hedge funds, um, and we needed to take that, what we call analog mapping, and we needed to take it and put it into a digital format that could visualize over Zoom since the pandemic. So it was a really big ende endeavor for us, and we utilized it in two forms. One of them we utilized to build Jensen Diversity Metrics, which is the analysis of uh, pr uh, promotion, advancement, talent acquisition, talent retention on every platform. So we, we, we started with that visualization tool of organogram mapping, and then we overlaid the DEI understanding. So the diverse, diversity, equity, inclusion, diversity of gender, diversity of race, diversity of ethnicity. So setting up a whole different, um, if you like, research team to understand the self-identification on each platform and then being able to visualize, did you promote X and did you promote Y and how are you retaining these individual staff? So the most important thing for us has been, it's really a value add to the client because the clients, are, which are our GPs, who are always trying to figure out how to build a distribution platform. Which LP channels should they focus on? And that's what our tech has enabled them to do, is have this understanding of what their, their competitors are doing, how their competitors are thinking about distribution, and how to build out those platforms over Europe, US, Asia, globally. It's a, it's a really important model to have I think a macro top-down understanding of the whole landscape of distribution. A phenomenal amount of detail that, that you've put into that and there's been a lot of conversation at the conference about AI and how that will change industries and it sounds like that's something that you're going to be looking at more as well. You're already adopting huge amounts of tech into your business. So our, I would say, so if you think about our data collection, so one of the things that we, st uh, one of our um, mottos, if you like, or one of our promises to our clients is that we collect every hire and every departure on every platform. And we can only do that with API, web crawlers, plugins. It enables us to know if somebody, for example, one GP has just removed a bio from a website, we know immediately, we're notified. And that enables us to track every hire and every departure. And so AI takes, I would say, 50 to 70% precedence of all of the tech that we've built on the platform thus far. And I would like to, to you know, add that what's really important about that is that knowing where you know, an individual has either come from and is going to, what we have found to be really important in the, in the universe of differentiation in executive search is referencing. So really understanding if, you, if a candidate who's a, a distribution professional has moved from firm A to firm B, what are they like to sit next to when they were at firm A? What did they raise? How did they raise the money? And so we're only able to do that if you track an understanding of where they've come from. So our data goes back 10 years. And so if you understand where they've come from and what their track record has been over time, then you, you can ensure sort of long-term successful placement for all of our clients. 
Where do you see all of this going next and what does the future hold for Jensen Partners now? So, I mean, we're, we're in a really interesting inflection point, I think. Um, we are, I would say, the go-to executive search firm for distribution, uh, capital formation, product specialist searches. Um, we have built now a team of 20 people. Um, we're in London, Miami, LA, Hong Kong, uh, New York, obviously. Um, and so, you know, we have a, a thought process that we're undertaking at the moment is do we extend beyond distribution? Do we look at portfolio management and C-suite? Because we have the technology, we have the mapping, and it's now a question of where we might go next. Um, I do think, though, just from listening to some of the speakers at the conference in the last you know, few hours today, the fascination with where the next assets are going to be raised from and how to raise those assets and how difficult it is to raise those assets. So one of the things that we've you know, been, un, been in, experiencing is how difficult, how tricky it is to raise assets. So our, um, the people that we place, many, I would say over 60% of the, of the attendees at this conference are asset raisers. And they've all sat there today and told me, this is the toughest fundraising market. LPs are not just giving away money. You really have to think about how to raise money and where to get that next captive long-term patient capital from. And I would also like to suggest, you know, to those that are to listening today, that the, the really important, um, I think, point about hiring anyone in distribution and capital formation today is understanding how technical they are. So if they're in private equity, they need to be able to express um, differentiation because there is so much competitive landscape within private equity. And if you're on a private credit, say, strategy, you really need to know how to talk the book. And so those are really important parts to, a, to our kind of screening process uh, when it, as it pertains to distribution and, and capital formation executive search. So it sounds like you come to something like this and, and you, you really get a real measure of what's happening in the industry. How valuable is Super Return International to you to come and, and hear those insights? So I think it's valuable on many levels. Um, first of all, it's a place to see and be seen. Um, I think it's really important as a sponsor, you know, we find that it brings great value to our brand um, because everybody knows who we are and what we do. And then those that don't, you know, will come up to us and ask us because, you know, we're, you know, thankfully to the, to the sponsorship, we are labeled everywhere. We fight hard to keep hold of that sponsorship every year, by the way. Um, and, you know, it's, it's really important to us to, to listen to, you know, what the, 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 the noise and the rumors and, the, and, the, and the, I think the data on the ground is, because there is a lot of obviously negative news stories in the press. You have to understand what the underlying is under that. Everyone here has a take and has a perspective and they're all extremely, you know, thoughtful, experienced individuals. And you could talk to them all just in a lounge. You just bump into them, you know, from the hallway to hallway. So I think... From an experience perspective, you come here, we think about it in terms of candidate origination, data origination, a real understanding of what you know the various themes are from the speakers, what, the, what, what is coming around the corner, what are the pitfalls that might be coming up in the market. And then last but not least, you know, we get a real grip on where clients are, what clients are thinking about and what the LPs are thinking as it pertains to those different strategies. And all of that makes our uh, experience and obviously our ability to express our knowledge you know, um, a much more of a value add experience for our clients who didn't get to come here today. Sasha, it's so great to hear how much you get from the conference. I hope you continue to have an amazing week. Great to see you as always. Thank Thanks you so for much. Joining us.